Yeah, they are. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I can see the white of a tusk. Can just give him a little bit of time? Yeah, so if we just keep quiet, sit still, maybe they'll come to us. So if we are very lucky, they will go straight across the side. They're crossing, they're crossing the road just here. What an amazing sight. Two, four, six. Seven of them, the big one there, keeping an eye on us. And they're just pushing through the bush. It it's really is an incredible sight. But there's a major problem in South Africa. There are simply too many elephants. The numbers are increasing now because of uh, the huge attempts to um, save the elephant. But now we are at a stage where the numbers are very, very high. And too high? Slightly too high, yes and they, they need to manage the elephants now. Why is there a problem if there's too many elephants? Surely they're, I mean, I'm presuming they're one of the great draws for, for tourists. That's why tourists want to come here, isn't it? Yes, they are, but they are causing a lot of damage to the ecosystem. Damage like this removes the habitats of smaller animals, threatening the survival of many other species. But while the problem is a serious one, it's proved extremely difficult to limit the elephant population. So plans have been drawn up to cull large numbers of elephants by shooting them. It's hugely controversial, and the government is worried that if culling happens, tourists might stay away. But how many elephants are they talking about culling? Do you happen to know? Well, they say in Kruger National Park they need to cull about 2,000 elephants for a start. 2,000? 2, 2,000 elephants. The Kruger National Park, the largest and most prestigious game reserve in South Africa, told us the elephant issue is currently so sensitive, they simply didn't want to discuss it with us. The idea of culling the elephant seems to be a big debate at the moment, but no, no final decision has been taken, is there? No, no final decision has been taken. Um, every, time, every, every time they decide to cull, there's groups that come in and they stop the culling. You're with Kapama Reserve and Lodge. What's, the, what's their position on, on this whole idea of culling the elephants? Kapama's against the culling of elephants. They would rather support different ways in controlling elephant populations. The view of the Kapama Lodge is shared by many of the game reserves in the area. But not everyone agrees. Just 10 miles down the road is the Maholaholo Wildlife Sanctuary. How old is your rhino? Run by Brian Jones, himself a former ranger. Mm. You keep right. down there, you can No, I'm going to hide behind you. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Look at this. Is it okay to touch? Yes, you could stroke him. He, he's a bit thick skinned, but that's fine. He's a bit thick skinned. Just in the gig, watch him, how you're going to put his tail up now, because he's been scratched. What have you got in your hand there? You've got a bit of metal that you're using because to your actually hand, make him feel your it. Your hand's a bit soft. He needs something rough. You are, you are very cute. You're ugly as hell, but you're really cute. I beg your cute. pardon. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's going to go. Oh. oh, look at that. Look you, the just, on the bottom here. You've just seduced him. He's rolled over. We don't use drugs here. We just uh, charm them. What an amazing creature. OK. Brian has an extraordinary way with his animals, and he holds clear views on how Africa's wildlife should be managed. Good boy. Oh, now he's going to get me at the gate here. I love big boy. I love big. Don't look too close, you'll get cross. OK. I love oh, big boy. Oh, big boy. Yeah. Oh, big boy. You're too close, unfortunately. He doesn't like it. Him and I, we sit together, we talk together, lug each other up, but as soon as people come near, then he gets, he, it's called diverted aggression. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the elephants in the Kruger? Because we've, we're hearing a lot about the threat of culling. What's your view on that? Do you think they're going to have to cull? I you... think that's a misnomer, the threat of culling. To me, it's common sense. We have to cull. <laughs> to be really that's honest with you, all these little game parks with fences around, inevitably, in the end, is going to do more harm than what cattle have done. Because the guys have spent millions 
and buying the place, millions of putting the fence, putting the infrastructure up. Now he's got to get tourists to pay back. And now he's got to have animals to, have to, to, to show the tourists. So he overstocks. And they're doing just as much harm. That's a sad point. They're doing just as much harm. It was once said Kruger Park got the biggest diversity of mammals in the world. But it's going to come to an end. Of course, already Samanga monkey's gone. Brown hyena's gone. We're looking at Oribe, Sable, Roan. Roan sitting at 30 animals left in the park where we are thousands. It's history.